In this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration on animating objects. So let's begin. I'm going to get a new script. I find that scripts generally are better than live scripts in controlling animation. I'm, first off, I'm going to put clear all and close all. It's always nice to start with a fresh screen and a clear workspace. Now we have to save this script so we can run it. I'm calling this script animate object demo. So first, we have to start with a figure and an object that we can animate. To make the object to animate, I'm going to do one of the simplest things I can imagine and make a patch. So now I'm using the patch command, and you can see that it's asking for x data, y data, and a color, and there are optional name value pairs that I can use to specify other parameters. So for this patch, I'm going to specify the coordinates of a square that's centered at the origin. So I'm going to specify vector of x points. I supply my vectors to MATLAB and I'm going to specify the color. So I like to specify color as an RGB triple. And to do that, these R and G and B are placeholders for a number that goes between 0 and 1. So if I want an intense blue, I set this to 1 and the others to 0. And you'll see when I run this, I should get a patch. So I should click on Editor, and then I have a Run button. I have a figure and a patch, and uh, the figure there uh, shows this, and the, the patch covers everything. So uh, we just put in some comments, and we'll fix it a little bit. Okay, so to fix it and make the, the patch so it doesn't cover the whole figure, I'm going to start off with uh, setting the x limits and y limits. Now in the spirit of good engineering practice, we build and we test and we build and we test. And you make small increments while building so that you don't have a bunch of code and introduce a lot of opportunities for error. So the more often you test, the better. So let's test it. And you'll see here that I have a nice patch, and it's, uh, it's no longer covering the whole plot. I'll also turn the grid on. And to get a better aspect ratio, I'm going to use axis equal. So let's see how that looks now. Again, building and testing. So here's my new figure. My square now really does look like a square. And so now the time comes to animate the square. And what we would like to do is to reposition the square without redrawing the whole figure. We can do that if we know what the properties are of this patch object. So I've given it a handle, my patch, and if I type my patch, MATLAB gives me the attributes of my patch. So it has certain properties. Face color, there's the blue that I put in. Face alpha, one makes it solid. Edge color, zeros, is black. Uh, I can click Show All Properties, and you'll see that there's X data and Y data, and Z data is empty. So if we type My Patch X data, we'll see what information is stored there. And you can compare this answer with the X coordinates that I put in in XVEC, and that's exactly what's going on there. Same thing with Y data. So to animate this patch to make it move, I could simply modify the x and y coordinates over and over again. So let's try that in a for loop. First, I'll specify a dx and a dy to incrementally change the x and y positions. Now we can increment the y and x positions in a loop. So I'm specifying 25 time steps. Oh, actually, we'll call these animation steps. I always like to put an end with my four so that I don't forget later. So it's one of the first things I do. And I like to make sure everything's indented nicely so I can readily see where the structure is for my loop. So let's increment the X and Y positions of this patch iteratively in the loop. 
let's run that in the uh, spirit of good engineering practice. Okay, so here's one thing. Uh, it just appeared all at the end. Let's try putting in some pauses. We might need a little more than that. Let's see what happens when we do this. Now you can start to see the patch moves. Now the axes move along with it, which sort of obscures the actual motion that's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these same X limits from the original plot and I will impose them again within the while loop, or the for loop, I should say. Now we can see our patch move. If for whatever reason that doesn't work for you and MATLAB just renders the end state rather than the steps, you can also use the draw now command, for example, but I apparently didn't need that here, so we'll skip that. The Another thing to think about here is that if I want the square to move in a different direction, I can choose a different increment, say I'll make this move down, so I give the dy a negative increment, and I run this, and you see the square moves down. And of course, you could make this much more fancy. Like, for example, if you wanted to do a joystick to control the position of the graphic, an approach that you might take is let the joystick determine the dx and the dy. Uh, also, uh, put it in a while loop. You might have to think about what kind of while condition you want. And of course, sometimes I have my students do a project where they're trying to use an icon and they're navigating it through a field of moving obstacles. And uh, that, you know, if you use the joystick uh, concepts that I put on here, you can use that to make the icon move. And then the while loop, which you would use rather than the for loop, would also manage the movement of any moving obstacles that you might have. All right, so let's just see that again. I'll do one more, put a negative X, and you'll see that the icon moves in a different direction. But I've already hinted that you can change this loop, and you can make the icon move in so many different ways. You can make it respond to a joystick or there could be some other complex formula for determining the path of your icon. But the main point here is to modify the X data and the Y data of your patch, and that will help you animate an object. I hope you found that helpful. I invite you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.